Today, we're going to Hinton and Weatherford. We're gonna to go to the Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park, Gloria's Kitchen, and the Stafford Air and Space Museum. Let's go. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. From Clinton, the team makes their way east toward Hinton. Our first stop of the day is the beautiful Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park. We are here in Hinton, Oklahoma at Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park, and I am here with Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Hi. So where are we standing right now in the park? We are actually down in the canyon. And for people who's never been here before, it's very unexpected. When you drive down into this beautiful canyon in the middle of nowhere, and there's these rock walls that are just surrounding you. And a lot of people honestly just say that it's a hidden gem in Oklahoma. There's 300 acres of land, and there's a lot of it that's been untouched. So we actually have four different hiking trails, ranging from 0.6 miles all the way to about five and a half miles long. They will either take you up on top of the canyon walls, or you'll be able to go down into the canyon, and you get to see some fun beaver damage, as well as rough horse tails. So there's really some great things to see um, on top of the canyon. You'll get to be on the rock which is something different that you don't get to be around all the time in Oklahoma. I see a variety of people, elderly people come down, I see big family reunions and young people come down for hiking and different activities so it's definitely for everyone. Um, it's a great place to come. From Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park, the team makes the short drive north into Hinton just in time for lunch at a local favorite. We're at Gloria's Kitchen in Hinton, Oklahoma. My son-in-law kept asking me if I wanted to run a restaurant, and somehow I ended up saying yes. We knew nothing about running a restaurant. It was kind of a, a challenge, an adventure, but it's, it's been fun. Gloria's the one that does all the homemade baking, and they're all kind of secret recipes, burgers, Fish. We have all-you-can-eat catfish on Friday nights. A lot of homemade desserts, homemade onion rings. The greatest part of running the restaurant has been meeting new people and serving people. Those are good hash browns. What'd you get? I got hash browns and I got the veggie omelet. Actually, it's called the garden omelet. I've just started on the journey of eating the whole thing. Can you eat so that we'll whole see. thing? That would be amazing. Hey, there's jalapenos. Yeah. You love jalapenos. I do love jalapenos. I don't think I could physically eat them. I love spicy food. You didn't even okay. ask for this. They no, just knew I know. You. Yeah, they know me. <laughs> if you want a lot of food, good food, and great desserts, this is the place to eat. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> From Gloria's Kitchen, the team heads west toward Weatherford until we get to our final stop of the day, the Stafford Air and Space Museum. All right, we're here at the Stafford Air and Space Museum. I'm with Max, the executive director. This is actually one of my favorite places in all of Oklahoma. You know, it's an overused term, but it is a well-kept secret. First of all, Weatherford is the home of the legendary test pilot and astronaut General Tom Stafford. Mm -hmm. His fingerprints are all over aerospace technology in this country. What he wanted was to use maybe some of his background to keep alive America's spirit of exploration. It also highlights the incredible role that Oklahomans have played in not only aviation, but especially spaceflight. Oklahoma is the only state that can boast of having an astronaut in every American manned space program. We're bound and determined to tell that history here. We have a 20,000 square foot addition being built. So it's going to be the largest air and space museum in this part of the country. When you walk into the museum, first thing you see is an actual flight ready right flyer. Once the new addition is finished, we'll end it with an actual F-117 stealth fighter. Most people don't realize how much is here. This is the actual Gemini 6 spacecraft that General Stafford and Wally Schirra flew into space to perform the first rendezvous in space. Behind me is an Apollo spacecraft, but further than that, there's an Apollo spacesuit, the actual suit that Tom Stafford wore to the moon on Apollo 10. It, it is just unbelievable what we did back then, but it's also a great reminder of what we can do. It's very important for us to remind ourselves the capability of this country, and uh, the space program is the perfect example. On today's road trip, the team experienced some of the fun and excitement that the Hinton and Weatherford areas have to offer. First, we made our way to Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park. The park offers guests numerous hiking trails and hillside vistas that provide a beautiful view of the area. 
Red Rock Canyon also hosts plenty of activities throughout the year, where visitors can experience the park in a variety of ways. Next, the team made their way into Hinton to have lunch at Glorious Kitchen. This restaurant and bakery is known for its incredible made-from-scratch food and desserts, and we definitely recommend their omelets and their bread pudding. Finally, we finished off the day at the Stafford Air and Space Museum. This museum proudly displays several authentic spacesuits, vehicles, and other technology that have been used by NASA in various space missions. The Stafford Air and Space Museum also celebrates the many Oklahomans, like General Tom Stafford, who have greatly contributed to American space exploration throughout the decades. And the next time you stop by the museum or any other Oklahoma destination, remember to share your photos with us using the hashtag RoadTripOK for a chance to be featured on the show. And be sure to grab your free copy of our 2020 travel guides. Join us next time as the team heads west to El Reno and Yukon. We'll explore downtown, have lunch at a diner, and we'll even hang out with some famous Clydesdales. We'll see you then.